Okay, guys, today we have a very, very, very exciting episode, one that's been in the vault for a few months now because we recorded this before the SAG strike, and obviously we wanted to be compliant with the SAG strike, and we stand with SAG, but now that the strike is over, we can finally release this episode and share with you guys that Alicia and I are actresses, and we were on an episode of Grownish back at the beginning of this year. And not to be, you know, those influencers who are like, we're, we did something and we can't talk about it, blah, 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 blah. Like, sorry. Well, we had to, but we always follow through when we say that stuff, I will say. So props to us. So you guys get to actually hear the episode that we recorded a few months ago where we recap our experience on set, what it was like being on a high budget show. Disney, Disney show. Disney show. It seriously was such an exciting time and opportunity and we have some funny stories from it. And I'm so excited that you guys get to finally hear about it. Also, don't forget to go watch the uh, Gronish episode where you get to see me and Remy and Alicia's outfit and and <laughs> our line uh, that we'll keep that a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, like, truly listen to this episode. It's like one of my favorite ever. And so let's roll the clips. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Alicia Marie. And I am Remy Cruz and I'm pink and I match the studio. I knew, I knew, I knew you were gonna go athleisure. I mean, that's all I wear now on, no. on set. Well, I was you telling wear- my vlog this morning, I was like, if I wear cute things that are like constricting, then the whole time I'm just focusing on breathing and I'm not physically, mentally here. There's been too many episodes where I'm just like trying to, br- I'm like- No, breathe into the mic. For instance, I'm wearing a corset. If you're watching the YouTube video, I'm wearing a corset. Yeah. But I thought ahead of time from times where I couldn't breathe. Yeah. So I brought an over shirt thing so I can like, you no, know, be you a little more comfy. No, you look so good. Thank you, I <gasps> tried. Wait, Alicia, is this episode gonna come out after your fashion faux pas that we texted about last night? I don't know. I haven't heard a date. Have I you? think I did. I think that this comes out after. I'm almost positive it comes out after. Wait. Should I call Tommy and ask? Yes. Okay. Because we got to talk about that. No. Oh. Should I tell him he's on the, the pod? Yeah. Oh, of course. I love, I love listening to podcasts. He did tell podcasts. me he was going on a hike. So hopefully we get him. Oh, hopefully there's service. service at Griffith Park. Hello. Hey. So nice that Griffith has service. What? Oh, I'm already back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> also, you're being recorded for Pretty Basic. Oh my goodness. Hello, everyone. Yeah, do you have anything to tell to the people? I don't have anything to tell everyone. Nothing. Well, we're calling to ask you a question, uh, and we can bleep this. Do you know what date our Grownish episode comes out? Isn't it soon? Well, then we can still Wait, say what it is. We've been allowed to say it, right? Can we say that we were on Grownish? Well, this is coming out after the 19th, isn't it? Yeah, you can say it as long as it comes out. Oh, after. we got an episode for Okay, you, so it's the 19th? That's what it's slated for right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but if they push it. Okay, bye. bye. Him, I'm already back. Well, speaking of you being such a fashionista. Oh, now I get why. Yes. I, get, I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> so, I mean, we've had a story time that we've held for a very long time. Uh, and I feel like now is the time to tell it because I believe that the day that this episode comes out, oh my God, I'm reinvigorated for this episode. I'm pretty sure that the day that this episode comes out is the day that our TV episode airs. And I mean, we've been sitting on this for a while. I actually had a little interaction action last night that also reinvigorated this whole thing for me. Um, so I guess I'll just say what happened last night and then we can get into the nitty gritty of <laughs> yes, things. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I hung out with one of my college best friends last night, Hillary. If you guys have been OG vlog watchers and you know her. We love her. And them. we love her. We went out to dinner. We were hanging out. And um, on the way home, we were just chatting. And my phone, for some reason, wasn't connecting to the CarPlay. So I was just listening to the radio. And my screen tells me, like, who's on the radio. And on the screen, it said Justine Sky slash Tyga. And as we were driving, I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't realize that Justine Sky is a musician. She's like, oh, I didn't either. I thought she was just, like, a model actress girly. And I was like, yeah, I actually met her recently. She's like, oh, no way. Like, what'd you do? And I was like, oh, I was on this TV episode. Um, And she was there. And she's like, what show were you on? (laughs) And I was like... We were on this episode of Grownish, and she loses her 
goddamn mind. <laughs> Literally, like I've known her since I was, I went to college in 2013 for 10 years and she's seen every cool thing I've done has been around, you know, at beauty cons and people yeah. come up. This has been that she's also, never been so starstruck to be with me than when I told her I was on an episode of Grownish. Also, I feel like in her line of work, she sees a lot of celebrities. So it makes she it even funnier. Literally sees the most A-list. Cele- she works with like the coolest people. <laughs> and yet she was so starstruck that I was on Grownish. And then I obviously had to give her the full <laughs> tea behind everything. And um, I mean, I don't even know how to properly segue into this story because it's that good, but maybe we could just rewind back a bit I was to, gonna say, to the idea. We had briefly talked, we even vlogged that we were on set yes. for something. We couldn't say what it was yet. Um, and I vlogged, um, you know, we vlogged our trailers. We both vlogged what we were wearing. Did we post these already? We no, I have it on my computer. We've held it. We haven't posted anything yet. Oh my god, I thought we posted. No, it. it's in my hard drive right now, and I vlogged on my phone too. But we weren't allowed to post anything, so I did vlog it. You're right, but no one's seen anything yet. In my head, it's out there, well, but it's not. When you said that, I was like, God, I have the worst memory. I don't remember <laughs> posting it. Yeah, I have the worst memory. I thought I posted. Yes, it. <laughs> we we have the clips, but we had to hold until now. I'm like, shit, did I post? <laughs> No, you would have heard. You would have heard. So we, like, what month was this? We posted on our Instagram, though. We did? Yeah. I don't remember that. We posted. We were, we, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were there. Okay, well, some people know them, but they don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. We were asked to be on an episode of the show Grownish, which is on Freeform, on Hulu. And I think we got the opportunity, like, probably, like, what, March or so? It was March because it was right after Lana and right oh. before the kids choice award remember there was like a lot going we were like what the hell is happening like in the, the, in the pb universe couple weeks and yeah. we had just done our pop our pop-up was coming yes like there was so much going on within the the span of two weeks yeah and this was one of those things oh my god i'm was so a, glad we get to finally talk about it this. was two days right it was two days so we got asked to do it and our teams this is one of those things where your our, our team was like you're doing it. Like you have to do this. I was we so were, nervous. We got no, no say so essentially. So um, we obviously got to say so, but we were like, okay, like it's so much more fun too when we can do things together. If I was by myself, I actually would have had a full anxiety. Like I, I don't enjoy being on set. It's very intimidating for me. I like, I was so, you were my like, so like little, even when you'd go to the bathroom, I'd be like, where's Remy? <laughs> ESP, emotional support person. Literally. Well, I had never been on set like this before in my life. And because it's a free form show, it shoots on the Disney lot. Yeah. So this was really crazy, you guys. So we got the opportunity and we're playing ourselves, which is really fun. And the premise of the episode is like some of the characters were on this um, reality show called mm-hmm. Influencer Island. So there's like Remy Cruz, there was Alicia Marie, and then there was also Ricky Thompson. Mm-hmm. I think we were, it was just us three, right? That, that were the influencers? No, there was that that one TikTok <gasps> oh, guy. Oh, yes, I loved him. I, forget I forgot his name. his name, but he was so nice. Yes, <gasps> and I remember he was specifically TikTok. I forget his name, but he was fantastic. I'll have to find him later. He was very sweet. But yes, there were a few of us there, and it was a two-day shoot, and I believe the first day we had to get there at like, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., like really early. Oh, it was such an early call time. It was a very early call time. And I've learned through my years of being on set, but never like a TV set. Like if I'm on set, it was for like a YouTube show Mm -hmm. or something very minuscule. (laughs) And um, I, but I've learned, you know, I don't love the way that a lot of makeup artists do my makeup. And I don't always love styling just because I like to feel most comfortable. I feel most comfortable in my own makeup, Mm -hmm. how I do my hair and how I dress myself. Also, there is a huge difference when you're playing a cameo of yourself versus a character like obviously if you're playing a character who's like super southern and like like country stuff like obviously you would you know but you were playing Remy I would never be a diva exactly but for me being me I was like can I do my own makeup can I do my own hair can I bring my own clothes and they were like yeah for sure also I love how it's taken us or you 10 years to like get that confidence to ask ask, you know what I mean I think that's something that's very intimidating because you're like am I even allowed to ask I don't want to feel like a diva um but LOL, because we'll get to my part. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked if I could do that. And they were like, for sure, just send over photos of some outfits that you have so we can approve them. And I sent over this like really cute little revolve dress that I've worn already that was still like, you know, appropriate for TV, mm-hmm. but still really cute. And they loved it. It was like this groovy kind of yeah. like, 70s, 70s yeah. like style long sleeve dress and so I was like sweet so that's all I brought I just brought some little shorts to wander it I brought my dress my boots and I was ready to go and I got to set I picked you up in the morning at like the crack of dawn mm-hmm. we get to the set you had brought some outfits too though right yeah they were actually they were so good they sent this massive mood board oh so I, I'm going over the emails and I'm like oh my god perfect they want trendy they want chic like that's my whole closet <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that just makes this story even more hilarious. It's just so funny because, like, if you know us, like, and literally, like, how you're dressed, how versus I'm dressed, like, I like fashion i would not call myself fashionable i don't think like i have i haven't quite found my like sense of style yet i'm still like working on that i feel like that also just changes with like um feeling comfortable in my clothes totally. and body and things like that i mean i feel most comfortable in what i'm wearing right now but um you're definitely like the fashionista of us i feel like you're very trendy and you like love trying the new trends you've always got like cute little things and if, you, if you're not watching the youtube i am in knee-high boots and like a corset set kind of thing and like a, a, a little watch I, know, I, I put the watch on the watch is cute and a little like button up i'm wearing a uh leggings socks sneakers and a sweatshirt hey but your sneakers match your sweatshirt it's that was very, that was my like you. this is my taste yeah. thank you so much this but yeah so we Sizzle. get to we get to set and they gave us our own trailers yes, we each had our own trailer i thought for sure because we were usually we get like paired together especially with pretty basic things so i don't even think we get a trailer i thought we'd be sitting in a circle in a chair oh also we were oh my god no 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 what was even more exciting is they're like guys they want you to be on the show. We're like, oh my God, this is great. And they go, and you have one line. <laughs> that's right. Oh and, my God, that's right. And the whole thing, the thing I kept doing 24 seven was thinking back to the That's a Raven episode when Corey is on a TV Allison show. Allison Stoner show. Yes, and he has one line and he goes, delivery <laughs> delivery when he and like he keeps messing up his <laughs> one line so i was like we're Corey. we literally have one line we can't mess this up yeah. i mean so we practice i was we each had like a decent line it was like a, a mini paragraph yeah, it was it like, was like four sentences. sentences yeah mine was a bit longer yeah <laughs> Meanwhile, the actual cast does this multiple times a day and has like hundreds of lines. I have, we'll get into this later, but like just a new appreciation for everything production, everything oh actor, actress. I, I just had never seen it up close, but yes. I love the community feel from it all. Like everyone being like, hey, break. Like they I love so that. Nice. I loved it. Please continue. So I had the mood board. I take this shit seriously. I'm like, oh my God, I need options. So I pack, I kid you not, probably like six outfits, like <laughs> full outfit. The way I brought one. No, <laughs> bitch, she brings one. I brought six outfits. I was like, okay, they want trendy. <laughs> this cargo skirt is exactly what they have on the mood board. I'll go with that. I think I did actually bring a few options, but not nearly as much as yeah, you Yeah, I like brought a whole, I brought options. <laughs> I brought like four pairs of shoes, <laughs> boots, like everything, <laughs> like different tops. Like I brought so much You stuff. want spring, you want summer, yes. winter, fall. I, I got, a, I got a, a dress. I was like, okay, I've been on set before. I know how this works. No cleavage. No cleavage, yeah. easy for the mic to like go on. Yeah. You know, I'm like thinking outside the box. <laughs> so then in the morning, um, you know, we wait. Obviously, there's like, also again, Disney budget's nice. Oh, the, my the crafty, God. like they had, it was Disneyland. It was amazing. Cal came to LA because he wanted to work in the film industry. So he's yes. been on a few sets, but he was so excited to hear what the crafty was because he was like, I can't even imagine a Disney set. I'd send him videos yes, and he'd be so upset. I remember when he saw my breakfast, he was like, well, now I'm going to order myself breakfast because nothing that I'm going to get make myself is going to be even new. Oh my God. If you that. don't know, crafty is like craft services so it's like where you can get your breakfast your lunch or just snacks throughout the day at any time it's like endless and it's just there's there like you. but there's multiple like when you get there there's breakfast like there's like yes. multiple this is disney but there were multiple trailer like like food car or anything what are the things like, you food wanted. trucks yeah of anything you wanted with like endless menus burrito burrito Scramble, i got omelet, the breakfast sandwich the French fruit toast. everything you could imagine and then the other side was like a self-serve buffet of mm -hmm. anything you could want that was just breakfast then at lunch they switch it out but then if at any point during filming you get hungry you go outside there's a full snack man there Not, he's making uh -huh. burgers hot dogs uh -huh. ramen snacks like we were like wow no i could do this <laughs> every day did you film a what i ate in a day i think you I did i think i did i, I can't even remember what memory. i filmed i think i did distant memory yeah um we, oh, were I can't wait. <laughs> we were eating good. We were eating good. <laughs> oh, my favorite were the apples and peanut butter. Oh my God, see. So good. Anyways, yes, the sandwich yes, and the granola. So good. You guys, it was amazing. So Rem does her own hair and makeup. I, I, I just, I didn't feel comfortable like, oh, I'll do my own because I know it's different on TV. And I was like, they probably know better. So I'll use their own hair and makeup team. And honestly, I actually really liked the hair and makeup because I've yes. learned one thing I have learned with like working with different hair and makeup artists is like I've gotten really good at being vocal of like, hey, I have oily skin. I like my contour sharp. I like my nose to look like this, da 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 da, da whatever. Um, and it was really cool because I was like, okay, what's the difference between on television versus, you know, real life? This is how I like it. How can we like meet in the middle of like what we would do? She's like, oh my God, we just need to blend more because the lights are so much more harsh. So if anything, if you want more contour, 
we just have to do it darker, but you have to blend it. Cause if it's harsh, it'll look really bad on camera. Uh, with a shadow. With a shadow. Yeah. So I was like, okay, interesting tea. So she was, so she was amazing. I forget her name too. I'm like, what? Everyone linked in the description box. They were so nice. <laughs> were, everybody um, was incredibly nice. Yeah. Um, even my hair, I really liked the hairstylist. Um, and I really liked the stylist too, but they didn't like any of the outfits that I brought. <laughs> and what's, what's so funny is like, it made sense. Cause they were like, oh, um, Amelie's gonna be wearing green, so we don't want you in green. Obviously, yeah. she's like a, a, a regular, real character, real, character, yeah. real talent. Um, and a lot of the things that I I brought were green, so I was like, oh shoot, that leaves like this and this. I was like, well, I have these pants and this. And they're like, okay, they bring back two options for me. And keep in mind, they 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 went with fashionista and ran with it. But like, I got so nervous. And again, this is no shade to that. Like, they honestly like are so good at what they do. They're very talented. You'll probably look great on camera because a lot of things also. No, I look probably won't. <laughs> being nice no i just say thank you no no thank you i just i was like wow <laughs> no no but like our our trailers are next to each other so i'm like touching up my blush and i hear literally in the next show like oh you know i don't know if i would like wear that you heard that yes oh my god i was listening the whole oh, time because no. we were connected but you were being sewn totally <laughs> but, but yes <laughs> Needless to say, my no, 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 no. So I'm touching on my makeup. I'm all dressed. I look so cute. I literally wore the same exact outfit to a Revolve event. So like, no, it's cute. Remy looked like Remy. I like step out of my trailer. And at the same time, I look over and your door's opening. She steps down. I literally see under like this big ass Doc Martin boot step down. And then like also trailing behind, I see this like glittery gold gown step out of the trailer. She opens the door. She's wearing a Doc Martens with a floor length, like black and gold mixture dress mm -hmm. with a navy boot blue blazer on top. It was black. Oh, it was black. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> a black blazer on top. Um, these large gold brooches. brooches. Which honestly, I do think brooches are coming back, <laughs> but just not, not, like, not that. like that. These, this giant gold chain necklace like a pearly like a big necklace oh no there was a lot and there were it was layered it was she was layering and these giant like pound heavy giant rectangular gold <laughs> earrings um did they put your hair back my hair was in a pony her hair was in a pony um and, and it was oh, a and sight gloves, to see the gloves. she had gloves the gloves so i showed just rewinding a bit i showed hillary your photo last night obviously <laughs> i was like so this is what i was wearing very me we were playing ourselves i show alicia she falls to the ground and she's like what why would they do this <laughs> Why would no, they do this? It's just so funny because, again, being the more fashion girl, mm -hmm. like, I get what they were going for, but I definitely felt I should have spoken up. And so, even my team, when I was like, oh my God, like, this is what I'm wearing, they were like, why yes. didn't you say anything? And I was like, I don't know. I just didn't want to offend and, like, whatever. And they're like, no, like, you, you're allowed to say something. Well, here's what happened, too. I remember you had told, I think, no, you wouldn't say anything to your team either because I was like, no, she doesn't feel comfortable. I'm like, that's a big thing. You have to feel comfortable, but yeah. you're too nice to say anything. So I texted your manager and I was like, hi, I think there's a bit of an issue. Like they're not letting her wear what she wants and I, I, she doesn't feel comfortable. But I think that your manager was just busy. So she replied like an hour later and she replied and she was like, on it, I'm, I'll call them. But at, by that point, we had already, we like had one already eaten. We were there. Like yeah. then you look like a diva. So then we were like, no, 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 don't say anything. I just remember being, okay. Yeah, I was like, no, now it's, and then I remember someone coming up to me like, hey, like, are you comfortable? And I was like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> The gaslighting. I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> um, no. So again, in in retrospect, it could have been worse. It, no, it could have been. It was just so, like, okay. It was just funny. No, like I need everyone to watch that episode because <laughs> I, we have a line. So I know I'm on camera and I know we're in the background a lot, uh -huh. <laughs> but like when I tell you, it was just so funny. Cause if I was playing, especially I grew up in theater. Like if I was playing a character, I would have been like, oh my God, slay. My name's Isabel and whatever. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Isabel but just loves what's brooches. so funny is that it's, me playing me <laughs> and it's funny too because I, <laughs> imagine like an actress was cast to play you and wore that you'd be like that's not me no, at like, all I, I was like i would never wear i would just it's it's not that it was ugly it was just 
I wouldn't, Alicia Marie would never. Yeah. But like, oh, it's fine. I'm I'm down to do it, whatever. Even like something as small as the, the earrings being so heavy. Like yes. I never wear heavy earrings. And one scene we're all sitting, it's almost like a, I don't want to spoil Wait, let's go through it. I oh, want to go sorry. through all of it because it was so, so fun. No, oh you're so fun. Um, so I like to think that I am a fabulous gift giver. I think it's one of my true talents. No, it is, Rem. Thank you so much. Um, I will say though, I'm a little nervous this year because normally I have a note throughout the year of like what I'm going to get people. Like if you mentioned, in like January that you want something, I'll write it down. I did a really bad job this Wait, year. That's usually what I do. And I haven't done it at all this year. Girl, but maybe we just like, won't give gifts. No, that's our love language. I was going to say, just kidding. <laughs> we're going to go to Macy's. Truly, you guys, if you're in the same boat or if you're just, you know, looking for a gift to get for someone in your life or you just, you need a little help like us, Macy's has your back. If you're stressed, don't be. Get all the ideas and inspo that you need using Macy's gift finder. They're fabulous because there are so many filters and things that you can use to find the perfect gift for anybody in your life. Like they have obviously like shop by price. So you can shop for gifts by budget, whether it's like $25, $50 or Lux. You know, this is also great if you're doing like a secret Santa, a white elephant. They also have shop by gift lists. The lists are really nice because especially like my dad, I'm like, okay, I don't want to scour through the entire website and internet to find like something he wants Let's just find bestsellers for, you know, dads. Maybe you're shopping for someone who's a hiker and likes outdoors stuff. Like, I don't know where to start with that. I will say every Christmas, all I get Cal's parents are things for the Green Bay Packers. Last year, I went on Macy's and I used the shop by list to find just Packers merch. Amazing. And I got his dad a really nice sweatshirt that he loves and he was so excited about. And then they also have shop by category. So you can find the top beauty, fragrances, jewelry and watches, handbags, accessories, and more. See, that one's a little dangerous for me because I end up just shopping for myself. <laughs> it always happens. I'm always in the kitchen section. Check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find that perfect present for anybody in your life or even yourself. I'm so excited because Cal has started a new little uh, routine for me. On Tuesdays, we come to the studio and we're recording all day and I don't get home till late and I'm so tired and I'm talked out. I can't even like talk Stop. to him sometimes. He started making me dinners on Stop. Tuesday nights. I know it's so sweet. And HelloFresh has come in clutch literally so many times the food and the meals that Cal has made me through HelloFresh have been absolutely incredible. Whether you are a master chef, whether you're an amateur chef, whether you've never stepped foot in the kitchen, HelloFresh makes it so easy to make a delicious meal for you, for your significant other, for your family. It's amazing. My mom can't cook and she knows it, <laughs> but I love you, mom. And she loves HelloFresh. And I would think she's a gourmet chef. Like it's so easy because everything's pre-portioned, mm -hmm. pre-packaged. You also don't waste things, especially when I was living by myself. I loved using HelloFresh because the thought of going to the grocery store and wasting so much money and food because it goes bad. So I love how if, if you need a third cup of cheese, it comes with a third cup of cheese mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Obviously the holidays are coming up, which is a very hectic and stressful time. I hate stepping foot in the grocery store during the holiday season. And HelloFresh is amazing because you can get your groceries and your meals delivered right to your door. Overall, you guys, again, whatever level of chef you are, I love HelloFresh so, so much. And you guys have to check it out. So go to hellofresh.com slash basic free and use code basic free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash basic free with code basic free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. This episode is sponsored by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, whether you're looking for a head turning handbag or a watch that says it all, jewelry that makes you look like the gem or sneakers and streetwear that make every step feel fly. eBay is making sure the things you love are authenticated by real experts because we all know there's no feeling like real. These days, to know for sure you're getting the real deal, go straight to eBay. When you're searching, just look for that blue check mark. It will say authenticity guarantee. That means when you buy it, you can be confident that it's going to be authenticated by real experts through a hands-on detailed inspection. Every stitch, sole, logo, and inch of it. They're making sure it's the real thing. Listen, when you're finally ready to buy that thing you love, you have to make sure you're not going to catch a fake. They're everywhere and it's really tough to tell the difference for yourself. With eBay authenticity guarantee, it's easy. Again, just look for that blue check mark and you know it's checked by real experts. Whether they're specialized in sneakers, streetwear, watches, jewelry, or handbags, these are real people who really live for this. That way, when it hits your doorstep, not only do you know it's real, but that feeling you get when you put it on is also for real. Nobody that I've ever met in my life loves eBay more than my dad. Really? He is on eBay 24-7. 
truly for any gift, Father's Day, birthday, anything. I'm like, what do you want? He's like eBay gift card. Mr. Cruz, I did not know this. He loves scouring through eBay to find deals, to find, you know, shoes. He loves like nice shoes, nice golf clothes, anything that he could possibly want because he loves a deal. (laughs) And the authenticity guarantee is absolutely perfect for him so that he knows that he's getting what he's paying for. Well, now I know to get your dad gift cards for eBay. He loves. I had no idea. <laughs> Love it. And sure, your next purchase is the real deal. Visit eBay.com for terms. So, so that's day one. We get so dressed. That's day one. My that's like, day one. That was no. That was just hour two. Yeah, without we just got <laughs> it there. It was so funny. Um, also the cast was so sweet, so nice. Oh I always God. get intimidated with that shit too. I'm like a lot of traditional, uh, actors like really. I would say like look down on influencing or don't like influencers because it's like they have a real job and not that we don't, but like it's just different. It's you know? different. So I was kind of like worried what they were going to think. Are they going to be accepting and nice? Like, are they going to just They like, were all so They were all nice. very nice. My favorite thing was when we would do like improv little things, games. Little games, yeah. It was so much fun. I have to say something so funny and we can cut this. Not that she'd ever listen to this or ever, like I would never see her again. But at this time- <laughs> At this time, the Haley Selena thing was like at its peak, 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 peak. Like the, I don't even remember what, the eyelash gate thing. Eyelash gate. Like this gate. was ha- what was happening at the time. Oh, eyebrow. Eyebrow yeah. gate, yes. And so um, I didn't know this, but Justine Skye is like really good friends with Haley Bieber. And I found that out, like obviously, like leading up, I found that up to like the, the drama of everything. And so when she would like go to set and we, cause we had one line, we weren't really up from our chairs much. <laughs> We'd be sitting there. And she was so, she was so nice. Every single person was so nice, but her phone, she'd leave her phone on the chair. And I just look at the phone and think the secrets that that (laughs) phone holds right now. Oh my God. Obviously I would, I would never touch it. I was just like, oh my God, like that. It has all the secrets to, to the world's I biggest didn't drama. I that she, she has that one song that's like super viral. It's the sped up version. <gasps> it's like viral, viral. Oh, wait, how does it go? Oh, I don't know. Let me look it up. Everybody couldn't have been nicer, truly. Like she was so sweet. Everybody was really funny. And the whole experience was really cool. I will say, and I went home and I talked to Cal about it because that was my first time on like a real set. I just saw, like, I see how long the actors are there and how hard they're working. And then even more so how hard the the gaffers, the lighting people, the craft service people, the hair and makeup people, like they are there day in, day out. Hours and hours and And I didn't realize also, I mean, this is just me not knowing, but when I would talk to like one of the actors, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like how long do you guys do this? And they're like, oh, when we're in season, we're like Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. till midnight, like over and over and over again. For like for one like months. episode in a week. Like for one, yeah. I was like, oh my God, it was crazy. Ooh, this is her I'm gonna song. Play her, this is called Collide. That's her? To the right, we can all night. Yeah. Oh my God. Has 4 million videos on TikTok. Like that's <gasps> I love that song. I didn't realize that was hers. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously she had a lot of secrets on that phone and I was just like, whoa. We were just like, wow, we're in such different like categories of people girl don't i know it <laughs> don't i know it like i was just like wow like you have this whole sh- like you're the main like that's so sick it and you're crazy. nice like what no i literally was just like everybody's so nice the everybody worked their asses off it was so crazy we had like stand in people for us when we would mm-hmm. step outside um and yeah everyone would just like sit in a circle and just like chat with each other and like play games and was everybody lot, was a so lot of downtime sweet. yeah and they were just so like inquisitive of like what we did. Also and like, the writer, like she was the reason we were even brought on in the first place. Yes, that's right. Her, she was so nice. We all go to Perla together. Oh my God, yeah. They watch my vlogs, we go to Perla. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah, I was, I, kept, I just keep saying the same thing over and over again. So day one was good. It was very long. Like once we kind of got the swing of things, it was really good. Um, we even got our own little chairs because we had a line. Yes. So like we had like in the, you know, we got cast. like the cast chair where everyone else had like their name on the chair. And we're like, sit our little, no, we were, we're part of the cast. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, day one was so good, but by the end, like we were exhausted. From- and, but I felt badly because I was like, I've sat my ass in this chair for like half the time. Imagine the people that are moving the lights and oh my moving God, the right? props and grabbing the camera from me. And like, oh yeah, that was, I'm telling you, I had a whole new perspective and every, I kind of forgot by now, but like for the first couple months watching any TV show, any movie, I would just like think of the behind the scenes that I didn't know before when I'm like, oh my God, like even seeing a camera switch, like I watched um, Kim's Convenience after and I would like, I'd ask Cal questions like, okay, well, how do they film that versus like how they film on Grownish? Like that's my new perspective now. So around this time we're, you know, practicing our one line and I'm, and I'm (laughs) even like the director, I was like, wow, she's really cool. She kind of like, 
I don't know who she reminds me of. She reminds me of someone. So that's mm-hmm. just in the back of my mind. Super sweet, super nice. But I was just like, she just reminds me of someone I know, I feel like. Like, that's crazy. We rehearse our line. We both only messed up, seriously, like once. And it was a longish line. Ish. For not being- Ronish, for longish. Not, for not t- uh, going to acting school. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> I think we did good. I hope so. Will it make it in the actual scene? Who knows? Is there a chance to get cut? It oh, totally. Cut? <gasps> oh yeah. What well, didn't? What's her name? Get she filmed the whole movie and then they cut her from the whole thing. Oh, Shailene Woodley. Yes, yes, you're so right. From Andrew Garfield's Spider Man. Yes, isn't that insane? You can. Yeah. She filmed the whole thing. That's really crazy. And then they're like, actually, we want to go a different direction. They cut her out of the entire thing. That's really crazy. But what's cool, she at least got paid still, but also imagine being like, like I'm gonna throw normal. hands if my line is cut. Make sure to get B-roll from my vlog channel, room tone from my podcast. I don't even remember my line. <laughs> also, Annika, so, okay. something, a truth or drink. Something, something about a truth or drink. drink, yes. Yeah, anyways. Absinthe, Absinthe. her truth or drink. Point being, <laughs> we f- we kill our lives. Kill it. Killed, killed our spot. Oh killed my God, wait, lives. Alicia, I just thought about the glam people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Wait, I forget what happened. Oh, I remember. We would like walk to our like well, no, no. What? This happened because anytime there was a break, my makeup and hair people would come in and do touch-ups. Yes. But because Remy didn't have a hair and makeup person, you didn't really have anyone coming up to give you touch-ups. Mm-hmm. I think they were like, she doesn't want to be touched. Yeah, they were probably- Which I would have loved it, but I just- I finally was like, you can option. ask for like oh, power. It's all, it's all good. But I remember when they, so the director like does a run through with you before, now that I'm an actress, they like run through it. That's called, run, no, I'm just kidding. They, but they like walk you through like where you're going to stand, what's going to happen. There's like um, a DP, I think also that's like doing all the technical Director terms. of photography. And so they're like running through everything. And um, I remember when she was running through with us, she's like, okay, Remy, Alicia, you're going to walk through here and then you're going to go sit at the vanity in front. And then I'm going to have hair and makeup people come in and touch you up. And in my head, I was like, I think I even said this out loud. I was like, yeah, two birds with one stone, <laughs> thinking they were going to touch us up while also filming. I was also, like, oh my God, yeah, it saved time. To clarify a little bit, the scene we were in was backstage. So it was like a green room. Oh, yes, yes, was, yes, yes. We were in the scene. Yes. It was being filmed like as if we were backstage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's like, the hair and makeup people are going to come. And I was like, oh, my God, like, Finally, so smart. Give her, give her, give her a touch up while also filming. And then like, then she has time to touch other people up. Like, this is great. <laughs> and so when we actually do the scene and we run through, then there's like a person standing next to my chair. And so I'm like <laughs> asking if I could borrow the hairs. <laughs> This is why we'll never get invited back. <laughs> There's a hairspray on the table. And I was like, can I use this? And she goes, I guess. And I was like, weird. She didn't seem very sure that I could use her hairspray. And I look and there's like a home goods sticker on it. And I was like, whatever. And I like spray my hair. And I'm like, look, I'm like, I love this hairspray. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and I was just like chatting with her. And then, and then after a little while, like I didn't have any more beauty questions. So then I was like, so like, how long have you been doing this? And she was like, I, we're like, obviously whispering in between takes as like actors and what I found out to be extras do. And so it's like, so like, how long have you been doing this? She was like, oh, well, I like lived in Canada for a while. And I was on the show, like I did Teen Wolf. And I was like, oh my God. And then it started to click for me. And I was like, what did you do on Teen Wolf? She was like, oh, I was also a stand in. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Was Dylan O'Brien just as hot as he looks online? Like I was just like changing the subject, but I was like, oh my God, this whole time I thought she was a hair and makeup person. Cause I thought that's what they were putting in, but no, she was a stand in to look like a hair and makeup person. And that was I was deceived. Hair it was a prop. prop. It was a fucking prop. Also, I used the prop hairspray. It was horrible hairspray, by the way. I don't think I told you this, but I was sitting right next to you. And when I saw you use that, I got, I got anxious. <laughs> Why? Because I wasn't supposed to use the prop. Because when, my, <laughs> when I'm crying, when my hair person came over uh-huh. and she sprayed me, she yelled spraying to like let people know that she would be spraying oh. for the camera and stuff. <laughs> and you were just going <laughs> to town <laughs> with the hairspray prop. And, I, and the camera was close. I was like, oh my God, I hope it doesn't ruin like, I the atmosphere. No idea. Imagine I, I got in so much trouble. No, genuinely. I was like, oh, can she do that? Because I didn't, I thought you knew it was a I prop. love that she said, I mean, I guess. <laughs> and then also, so I had a guy because you, your girl was AK doing hair on you, right? Yeah. My my guy was doing makeup, so he had this like like I kid you not like Claire's <laughs> like Walmart for like a three year old fake makeup thing that uh. with a sponge and he'd pretend to hit it and then like, apply it on me. So I knew he <gasps> was an fake? extra, and like we would be like 
well, my like, girl was touching my hair. I was like, right. <laughs> you're so embarrassed. Like when, when your mom does something embarrassing, you're like, wow. I know we were filming. It was so funny. <laughs> well, anyways, that was day one, and it was so great. We wrapped at midnight and went home. Oh, yeah. It was like a 14-hour day. It was a long, long day. It was so long. And the next day, I knew I was going to Lauren and Jeremy's engagement party. Yes. And I found out, I think, the next morning... Or I forget exactly what the time. I think on day one, yeah. I had said, Tommy, I need to like, I need to leave by like 9 p.m. I figured like we'd have, like it'd be enough time. Um, and I didn't realize, but on the inside, they like, were like trying to rewrite the script so that I could leave. And then Tommy was like, I'm sorry, there's just no way you can make it. There was all this like back and forth. And they were like, we're so sorry. We can't write her out of the script because we didn't know what day two was going to look like. But it yes. turns out we were all sitting in this. Now they're filming the quote unquote show, yeah. which I think day one, I could have left earlier yes. because like, I didn't necessarily have to be in the background of shots, yeah. but this is like, we're on camera and we're all, all the quote unquote contestants. It, the, case, the couches look like this. We were yeah. sitting on like It couches. was like reunion style. Think of like the Bachelorette reunion or yes. like- Vanderpump Rules. Vanderpump Rules. Like, yes. So the whole cast is there. Which it would have been apparent if like- You just left If like Lala left, exactly. Yeah. So I didn't know that. And so he's like, we're so sorry. We tried on the back end. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to miss their engagement party. So I called Lauren and she was- so nice about it she's like how are you supposed to know that like you couldn't leave the tv set yeah. like that they were gonna keep you she was so nice about it Cat i one remember of my people place. being like why wasn't remy there <laughs> was like, <literally> on <laughs> was set. like oh lol if they knew <laughs> i was sitting on set <sighs> but next to justine sky <laughs> next to <just> literally <laughs> like i can't leave but then ricky showed up for day ricky two showed up yes <laughs> he was so funny i love ricky so much i want him to come on the pod soon oh no he needs to also He'll come soon. um what was funny was he styled himself he looked so freaking good it was like all rick owens so he looked good at one point we're all in a circle and the whole cast is just kind of talking and someone complimented his outfit and he's like oh my god thanks like i look great blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> um and then one of the cast guys is like yeah like the styling's pretty dope here they really let us like dress pretty much like ourselves mm -hmm. and i'm kind of on the outskirts <laughs> and i heard this and i just go um <laughs> And to the, up until this point, like, again, we had just met everyone. Yeah. No one was going to be like, what is she wearing? Yeah. But I knew everyone thought it. So at this point, they all turn and they look at me and everyone busts into busts laughter. Out like, laughing. Busts into, like, crying laughing. And I was just like. <laughs> just sitting there with your bro brooch falls off. Literally, my brooch kept falling off. And then these earrings were so heavy. Bless your soul. You tried to help so much, which mm -hmm. you did. But. They were actually ripping my ears. They were, I'm telling you, they were like a pound each. They were so, and I don't already don't wear heavy earrings. I, and I already put them in my, the second piercing hole. Mm -hmm. So it would be easier. One scene, there's probably like a hundred people on camera. Cause not only do we have the whole cast on like three couches, there's also extras, the extras being the audience. Mm -hmm. So of like probably 50 on each side. So it's like a big room and they're so big on continuity. And at two times, my earring falls off and you hear ding. <laughs> and I was like trying to just like pretend it didn't happen. And I was like, oh my God, oh my yeah, God. I remember you go like this and I, you'd hold I, like, your Yeah, and I like looked at the styling girl and she was just like, like cover your, like just like try to like hold, like hide it. And I was we like- We ended up using a Band-Aid, right? For a reinforcement. We used a Band-Aid or something. Um, the sticker from the Band-Aid. I was like, give me scissors. everything. And literally like by the end of the, I was like my poor, I was like holding my ears. I was like, I don't know what They're to so do. They're so sore. Cause they were so heavy. And I should have just, again, I should have said, sorry, I need clip-ons. Like, yeah. I, I can't do these. That's so why I literally like, got surgery on my ear though. Yes. Because I had the same I issue. literally was like, I feel it. Like it's so, it hurt. Like my yeah. ears hurt. And I've never experienced pain like that. I was like, oh my God, it was, it was just different. I can't wait to see the episode. No, I just. I, I think just, I was given a second line. Wasn't I given a line? Oh no, they just referenced me. They referenced As I was sitting you. there like, I did something bad. Yeah. Remy did something bad. You know what conversation I've been having with people lately? What? My mom called me the other day and she was like, Remy, I think you're balding. What? <laughs> I know. And then I started freaking out. But um, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I've decided I am taking what's left of my hair by the horns. By the reins. By the reins, <laughs> by the roots. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking the steps to help myself just grow thicker, healthier, longer hair. I mean, you know, I've been on a long hair journey and Vegamore has completely come in clutch for not only me, but I have so many of my friends, parents reach out to me. So many of my friends, moms, they're like, I need help with hair products. And I've Truly, honestly, suggested Vegamore to quite a few cows. Mom, people will reach out and be like, what should I use? They love it. We all love it. So I started using their grow serum 
especially with how much we just like do heat to our hair and get it done and extensions and dye and color. I feel like it's been through so much and I want to just be ahead of the curve. I also love getting into the shower and just using a really nice shampoo and conditioner to keep my hair clean, to have a nice consistent routine. And the Vegamore Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner is fantastic for that. Also, what's even better is Vegamore's value kits like their Grow Essentials kit. You can actually get when you sign up for a monthly subscription. So you save more and you never run low on the products that take care of your hair. For a limited time, go to vegamore.com slash pretty basic and use code pretty basic at checkout to get in on Vegamore's biggest sales of the year during their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. That's dot com slash pretty basic code pretty basic to get the best deals on Vegamore's line of products. Vegamore.com slash pretty basic code pretty basic. So last night we all went over to Remy's and she hosted like the amazing host she is. Um, <laughs> and when I said, what can I bring? She was like, oh, honestly, I have pretty much have everything. And I said, no trick answer, because if you show up to a friend's house, empty handed when they are hosting and cooking for you, because <laughs> we all know you cooked. <laughs> There's nothing worse. So I decided I'm going to drizzly some alcohol. If you guys have not downloaded the Drizzly app or have gone to drizzly.com, what are you doing? They are the go-to app for alcohol delivery. So if you were to roll up to my house and bring me a bottle of Kettle One Vodka, you know, I could use that to make some vodka pasta or we can make some, you know, dirty martinis, some espresso martinis. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you like a little um, tequila espresso martini now. So you could bring some like Don Julio Reposado. Cal loves a good whiskey. He loves a good bullet bourbon. So I will always take a, a nice bottle of something for hosting because I think it just looks so cute on the bar car. It's just, it means a lot. And I just overall love it. So if you guys are, you know, going to someone's house this season for the holidays, might as well use Drizzly, get a nice little bottle of something for them. Or, you know, maybe you have like a family member that is graduating or maybe um, someone just got a new job. They just had a baby. You want to send them a bottle of champagne. It's great because you can actually send gifts through Drizzly. So it makes it super, super easy. I do it all the time for, you know, family members or employees or things like that. It just, it makes your life so easy. And it looks like you tried really hard when you really didn't. <laughs> so download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com. Must be 21 and older, not available in all locations. I will say day two was so nice because we didn't have our line. So we just got to sit. Yes. The worst <laughs> part was over in yeah. the first half of the first day. And mm -hmm. then we were like, phew. And at least this. our scene, there weren't that many people around where the big scene, I'm so glad we, our, our, our line wasn't in front of a lot the of people. Stage fright yourself. It's just so incredible to see how all those actors and actresses like were just so obviously, I mean, they were cast, so they're good, but like just so natural with it and like seeing the director give them a note and them just like taking it and going and like improving so well I was just blown also away. I already know like we're gonna seem on the way we're talking of like da 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 yeah but when you hear the dialect being talked like this yeah it's like why'd you do that yeah it's like versus theater you're like why'd you do that yeah you know what I mean? it was just crazy where she, like the director would come in and be like be more sad or be more sassy and they yeah. would just like uh, do it yeah it was like I, I know it sounds like simple but it looked it's a craft i was blown away speaking of director so again around day oh, two yes. i'm sitting there and i'm like she looks so familiar i'm like why like something what is it and then it hits me oh my god she is she's very similar to the main actress in the show unreal unreal mm -hmm. and she's in a similar role to that character because yeah. that, char that character is a producer so she's running around giving direction so i was like whoa and then i was like it's not her. There's no way it's her. I look it up. It's her. And I fangirled so hard. I was like, oh, she's so dope. I was like, she does this in real life. She had tinsel in her hair. I was like, she was so, so cool. cute. We also then were like, well, we have to figure out a way to like ask her, but like not yes. ask her. And we, we found some way. She brought it up too. Yeah. And she was just like, yeah, I'm not really on social. She's like, oh my God, when you follow each other? She's like, I'm not that really cool. I only have followers because I was on this show. And, and I was yes. like, what I show? Know. She's like, that's <laughs> I was like, I love that show. <laughs> It was so good. But it was honestly, it was so much fun. Definitely felt way more comfortable on day two. I just keep dying because I'm like, I know. I can't wait for the comments of people. Also, I didn't say this. I wasn't in Doc Mar Martins at first. Oh. oh, no, no, sorry. 
I wasn't wearing Doc Martens. Remember I was wearing those white pearl heels that were so uncomfortable. That's right. But my favorite thing was they were so sweet. I was like, wow, what is this treatment? Like they would take off my heels and give me slippers that's anytime right. I wasn't like it being shown. Oh, and I was like, wow, it's amazing. But they photos. did want to put me in Timberlands. That's what it was. That's what <laughs> it was. Sparkly Timberlands. Yes. And I was just like waiting for someone to be like, Alicia, what are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? Again, any other fashionista character slay. The fact that... It, I'm me and I brought seven outfits that I was like, these will so work. And then it was giving me like Carrie Bradshaw. Like it was giving yes. like, you, did you ever watch the show Jane by design? No. That's one of my favorite shows on ABC family when I was a kid. Um, but she was like a girly in design school and it's giving very much like Emily in Paris textile. Yeah. Like textile, like, so like, shouldn't work, Avant-garde. but does work. Yes. Um, but not for Alicia Marie. No, it's just funny. So I'm hoping all of you watch the episode. Feel free to roast the shit out of me. Honestly, this is going to be the new viral thing. Making fun of Alicia's outfit on TikTok. I hope the stylists don't take offense. I, I didn't truly, think it was that bad. I really didn't. I promise Remy, you. I mean, if you were in it, <laughs> literally, I'm picturing you in it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not. And it again, wasn't that bad. Again, I was like, I'll I do don't, anything. I don't gonna- think enough to make it a viral video, like viral making fun of you, but it just wasn't you. The cast reaction was what did it for that me. Was, when you they were all funny died laughing, I was like, um. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Ricky and like Rick Owens and like looking so like him and chic. He's like looking mesh. adorable. His mesh is me- like, yeah, it's like, like it buckles. Well, My guess is they were like, oh, we're doing fashionistas. It'll be fun. And then everyone had their own thing. So they're like, well, we have this like really cool brooch. Brooch. <laughs> anyway, I had so much fun. Honestly, I'm very excited for it to come out. Hoping our one line doesn't get cut. <gasps> I don't think it will. I don't think so either. We nailed it. Well, they need that to move the story forward too because they need us for the red carpet because remember then there's like a, oh a scandalous moment that happens well, on the Well, I forgot that we pose on the carpet. Yeah. You will see the fit. <laughs> You'll <laughs> see the full Everyone will see the full fit. fit. We need to do like a viewing party when no, it comes out. No, I, I need to have a viewing party with you <laughs> and we need to film our reactions. <laughs> like seriously. Yes. And also it made me do a deep dive on the show because I never really watched it and I was like, oh my God, so what's happening? What characters are what ca-? You know, like all this stuff. So it was really fun. I'm hoping it actually comes out and I think get it pushed. will because they obviously like are already slated for the season. I'm sure yeah. they already have it all ready to go. Also, because it's like in order, they can't just move it around. Well, like I'm sure they release like on Wednesday nights or yeah, whatever. Maybe. So yeah, 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 I think we're good. We're also gonna have something else to put on our IMDb. Loves it. Loves it. Well, I have nothing. So maybe we'll win um, an Emmy for best cameo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. A pretty basic Emmy. That'd be sick. Right next to our Webby. Right next to our Webby. Our Webby and our Emmy. Yeah. Would you do more acting things? Honestly, I truly get so much anxiety on set. Yeah. I don't enjoy it. Maybe it would be different if it was my show and I felt like a sense of purpose there. Yeah. But I feel like like I was so glad you were there. No, I wouldn't have done it alone. I know, but like, of course, you have to. Like, it's such a cool opportunity. I'm just not one to like put myself in those situations. I get so shy with new people. No, same, Remy. But we had each other. I know. Or Ricky, like Ricky made me feel very unhealthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, maybe more cameos coming your way. I could do a cameo. Yeah, that's cameos just are me. nice. Yeah, but I heard you have a story to tell me. Yes, oh my God, this is a total 180 from the whole conversation we've had this whole time. But I was thinking of what's new since the last time I saw you and I had to go to the doctor's office. I actually put it up on my story and I was gonna joke putting text being like, my, getting my BBL and then I was like, that's oh, too much work. And like, people are gonna think, people I'm gonna think you're really gonna BBL. I know, yeah. I know. I'm like, I'm joking, haha, <laughs> but like, whatever. And I only went to get a mole removed because I think I mentioned it, but I don't know if we scratched that episode. We scratched that episode. We scratched that episode. <laughs> Anyways, I, full circle moment, the hairstylist on set, I told her, I was like, also, I have a lot of moles in my head. Like, don't worry if you hit them because anytime I have a new hairstylist on person, your scalp? Oh, yeah, I have so many. Does it hurt? No. Whoa. But like, can I touch after? I mean, yeah, but Can I touch now? No. <laughs> I would like to touch. Oh, you, no, because then you're gonna be like, ew, and I'm like, oh, I would never say ew. ew. I would never say I'm kidding. ew. I've, I'm such a moly bitch. I've grown up with all of them. My mom, every single year growing up, we'd go to the dermatologist and like, just get them checked. It's just, you know. Safe. Safe. I've had like one or two removed when I was younger or like tested. Um, but recently the hairstylist on set was like, oh, do you get yours tested? Like, have you been to the dermatologist lately? And I. I literally go like, yes, I actually just found a dermatologist. But in my head, I was like, actually, it has been a while since I've done a full body scan where they just like go over and like try to find any that looks suspicious. So, and I remember that week I was like, I need to get them checked. So I was like, you know what? This is a, I need to do it. Like that was a one last little solidifying thing, which is crazy because I ended up getting them checked. Three came back suspicious. The one I went in for, they said was fine. 
because there was one that I thought looked kind of weird. The second one, they were like, this one is suspicious, but not enough to like remove it, but we're going to keep an eye on it. Then they said the third one was really, really bad and it wasn't melanoma, but it was borderline like almost that. So they wanted to go back because they already like did a test of it, right? They wanted to go back and fully remove it, okay? So I was like, thank you. Shout out to the hair girl for telling me to go get everything checked because not that I wouldn't have because it was in my head, but that was just like a third check. A more urgent thing More like, wow, the universe, God is telling me I need to do this. Mm -hmm. So people listening, if you've been putting off appointments, go get shit checked. So the other day at the doctor's office, they went and they removed the whole thing, which it's so much bigger than I thought. And I'm gonna probably have an ugly scar, but an ugly scar is better than a melanoma melanoma yeah um but it's like massive and they totally numbed me and it was my first time like having it something removed that much i even asked to look because i was like love this stuff that's my for you page when but, they took it out yeah and they're like no there's a lot of blood and we don't want, and i was like oh they don't want me to faint like because i was like oh it's like it's a lot oh. um so i'm just like chilling there but i had a the was der- it a shot shot numbing or like cream shot numbing, numbing? Yeah, Whoa, yeah okay but like i have a high pain tolerance so i was like fine with it what felt weird this is disgusting what felt weird is when they were doing the stitches, like feeling them, sewing it up and tugging at my skin. That's really crazy. It, so I was like, can I look? But I'm I like, want to see it after too. Does it go into the skin you think, or is it just like a topical thing? No, so it's four deep stitches. So I have to go back Friday for them to take no, them the out. No, the mole. Is oh. it just a superficial thing or does it go under the skin? I don't, I, it's bigger than I thought. So I'm going to ask them when I go back. I'm like, why was it so? I would love to see it. I know. It like definitely was like a big hole in me which like is crazy. cysts are really interesting to yeah me too. but it was more topical so i'm getting the results for that back on friday damn when i go to get the, the stitches out to see if they got it all if they need to go back in hopefully they don't have to go back in but i actually had a different dermatologist and it was a female where the guy i normally seem i don't know if i don't know if he was um just out of the office that day on vacation or something. But for whatever reason, I got put with a different doctor. So she comes in, she's so nice. She's young-ish and like, just like this hot, like doctor girl. And I'm just like, damn, like you're living the life, right? And she's like talking about going to Pilates and all this stuff. And I'm like, you're such like an LA doctor, right? Uh-huh. Um, and she's like, oh my God, guys, I found out something last night and it's just been on my mind. So I like have to talk about it. So she's talking to me and her assistant uh-huh. who's like helping me while she's like, cutting into me and sewing me out, right? And I'm just laying there. So I'm like, oh my God, what's up? She's like, okay, this is crazy. And I'm so sorry, but I just have to say it. So last night I found out about my friend, her friend's friend, basically, okay? okay? She was like, I just heard this story of a group of women went to Turkey again, either to get implants or get them removed. I've heard Turkey's really big for plastic surgery because it's, they're phenomenal at it and it's not as expensive. Yes, also this is just one story, not like, talking crap about the country or surgeons there or anything like this is just one individual story because yes i've heard a lot of people are like oh they're like they're they're so smart i have a friend that just booked a trip i don't know how expensive or how cheap they found this deal or whatever but essentially a group of moms went to turkey they go surgery ends up taking a little bit longer than normal everything's fine they come back home and then one of the the moms started having a lot of back pain and she was just like, I I don't know why I'm having a lot of back pain. It's just kind of interesting. Her normal doctor that she saw here was like, okay, well, like, did you have surgery recently? And she was like, yeah, I just got my boobs done. He's like, that's where your back's hurting though. So they do, I want to say they did an MRI. She had one less kidney. (gasps) She had one less kidney. They check the other girls. One less oh, kidney. Okay. Yo, <laughs> I'm not, I'm like. Wait, that's really fucking sad. No, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. So I'm really sitting there, sad. me and the that. assistant are like, what? We're like, what? Like, what? Like, what? She's like, I know. Like, it's so, like, it's, it's, she was like, and thank God the doctor, her real doctor, like listened to her because they wouldn't normally do an MRI for like, I, also I could be butchering whatever that test was. All they had from this doctor's office was a phone number. Oh my God. So of course they called disconnected. Like they fully knew what they were doing. Also like, I was kind of like, how did you not notice if it went in your back? But I guess you're obviously you're under. So I was like, I don't know who went with them oh my or whatever. God. I'm sure you could actually look it up and find something, but then also like international laws, like all they, they can't do anything. They're just going to get it back. Exactly. That's really, I've heard like scary horror stories of like just things like that happening before. And I was like, that's really, really sad. What? Poor women. Oh my God. Also just the feeling of feeling violated of like. So violating, but like, God forbid something happens to their kidney. Yeah. Like obviously you don't need both to live, but if you have one, if that one goes bad. God, that's so sad. So needless to say- Should we be scared to say that like this publicly, you think? I think it's fine. 
<laughs> the the we're, doctor's we're gonna, gonna come. No, to they're us. they're gone. Yeah. I've genuinely considered getting a reduction lately. I talked about it a on my, my solo episode, but I'm like really thinking about it. I've had so many people reach out and after my solo talk about how they did it and it's the best thing that they've ever done. I've only heard great things. Okay, I was gonna say that, but obviously I haven't. I'm sure there are negative stories. I have not heard of one person who's gotten it, who I know in real life, who regretted it. I know. Also just the back pain alone. I just get scared of going under. Like that's what really scares me. I'm sorry, I just told you a horrible story. Oh, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already, like I have my own fears about it personally. Yeah. And I know a lot of women, once they have children, like then they do something re- yeah. like a, a lift, a reduction or whatever it may be. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like my quality of life would be improved. I feel like I'm like not able to, I'm not able to run really. Yeah. Um, I feel like clothing is always just like really tight. I don't feel, I feel like I'm kind of limited in clothes that I can wear. There's one girl on TikTok who got a reduction and she looked like a completely different person. And she was like, my back is so much better. Yeah. Cause like when you really think about like, that's my posture, my posture, my back, I just have so, I have like a little, a lot of pain, but like not, not pain that I think of every day because I feel like I've just well, you don't know lived different. with it. Exactly. I've lived with it since I was like a Have teenager. you weighed each boob? I think I have one. I think they were like, obviously it five pounds maybe. I mean, that's an extra, what? 10 to 15 pounds. We'll see. Obviously I can count, Ooh, but I'm saying I got to put them on a food scale again. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I am considering it truly. Have you seen that TikTok or meme or something where that like older lady takes her boom and like smashes? Yes, mine's not like she smackable. Like, she like, <laughs> so, like kills a bug or something, it's so funny. I like also, I know some people like hold things under their breasts. I've never tried that yet. I should try you should. like an iPad. Also, if you want to get one, you, sh- you so should. I, I really like, the only thing holding me back is the thought of going under. Have you gotten your wisdom teeth out? Yeah, but I was nine or 12. I was 12. But you got anesthesia then. Yeah, but I was a kid. I like didn't know what was happening. But at least you didn't have like a horrible reaction. Yeah, um, I know. I just get nervous. Even like with um, the veneers, they gave me laughing gas and I was so anxious. And I would tell you what, I'm sure I talked about it, but I was so, I was more anxious about the laughing gas than I was about the actual Surgery. grinding of yeah. my teeth down and they turned it on and I was like that's good guys and they were like well you're at child level so we're gonna need to keep going <laughs> you that's, that's good, good guys, guys. <laughs> I'm like oh you don't want to fill I didn't even know but like Lauren she gets laughing gas just for like any like like maintenance yeah. kind of stuff for her teeth just because like some people like yeah. enjoy it Karen too. I was like I'm good I'm good and then they turned once they turned it up I don't remember much it was very loopy oh but I was so scared of it I'm scared to go under. Well, the same doctor got her nose done because I was like, oh my God, I went for a consultation and it's so true. You have to like really vet your doctor and like do a lot of research, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not saying those women didn't, but she was like, oh my God, um, I was about to get my nose job and I was like in the room, there was someone ahead of me and she heard someone like, she heard this guy like screaming and just like being like crazy, right? So she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to back out. It happened to be a guy who was ahead of her in surgery and her doctor came over and he was like, look, men are weak as fuck. <laughs> he was like, you're going to be fine. And she was like, yeah, you're right. And then she was like, it was so fine. Best, best decision I ever Stop, made. Like, da, da, da. So yeah. Funny. But it was funny. Cause I was just like, oh my God, it is so like, it's a known thing that women have higher pain tolerances I mean, than, than yes, guys. Yes. So it was just funny. That's so funny. That's all she needed. And then she was fine. One of my friends got their eyelids done in, I believe it was Taiwan. And it's a big thing in Asia to get your eyelids cut because yes. we're, most of us have like monolids. So you can cut to have like a, a crease or something like that. Um, she was like, I don't know, like the, the, her parents found the doctor and they like all did it. And she was like, it was just like really unsettling. She was like, as I was going down and like leaning back, I look over and there was like a vat of like someone's b- body fat, like sitting in it, like a, a jar. Oh, and no. she was like, and that's the last thing she remembered before she went out. Oh, no. Her eyelids look great. Oh my God. It's just so funny. I was good. like, that's the last thing you see as you're like oh going my God. off down. So funny. I love people to have the craziest surgery stories, plastic or not. Exactly. I really do hope those women are okay though. That's very, very, very unsettling. And oh. Oh my God, I know. Like I actually was like, holy shit, that's insane. But I wish there was a way if you ever wanted your boobs I wish I could just stay awake. I wish I could go and hold your hand. (gasps) I would love that as I get knocked out. Do you ever watch the, like those episodes of like surgeries where like, and then they like lift up the, the girl to like see how the boobs look. Well, that's what they do with the boob job. Yes. Don't they lift yes. you up? They like, they prop your, your thing up so you can, so they can see how they lay. I think it's, if I truly ha- like was a doctor, I would be a plastic surgeon for sure. I find it so fascinating. Oh my God. Like in another multiverse, Alicia is a plastic surgeon. I'm sure she is somewhere. Yeah. That, I mean, I commend every, every doctor's incredible. That's, it takes. You'd be a vet. That's, God, no, I would never be a vet. 
they die. You save them, Remy. I don't know. I don't think I could deal with any dogs dying. Like I really couldn't do it. Oh, like, I think I would be I'm like pediatrician. I would love. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't do any of. I couldn't. I would do like um, dentist. I could be. A, you I, would be I would such be a, a fun good dentist. dentist. You would be like, oh, it's okay, hon. Just I would love, and then go to the treasure box yes. and you get stickers. Yeah. I would be a dentist. Yeah, I do find teeth interesting. I do. Yeah. Oh my god. Me with my veneers. You, I know you get veneers. Suddenly, <laughs> she's like, ah, I love them. I love teeth. Anyway, oh I know we've been talking so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, go watch us on Grownish. <laughs> From TV stars to plastic surgery, we cover it all. We really do cover it all. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Rate us five stars on iTunes. And uh, what else can they do? Follow us. Follow us. Go watch Cooking with Remy. Thank you so much. And go watch Leisha's new video. And if you stayed till the very, 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 very end. <gasps> I saw some people, a lot of people commented frog emojis. I saw, I love that. Let's it. say comment the... Like a, I was trying to think of something with the my outfit, like <gasps> gold or like. Um, Maybe a, a I wish there was a brooch. <laughs> is there a brooch mo- emoji? A ne- the necklace? Is there pearl earrings or a pearl necklace? Or uh, maybe a jewelry emoji. Yeah. Comment a jewelry emoji. And, and we'll know you're a real one. Yes. We love you guys so much. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye.